everyone. This is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a card using sprigs and sentiments and a technique using colored pencils and Gamsol. Okay, so this is the stamp set and I'm going to use a, a variety of these uh, sprigs and then I'm going to use sage cardstock, rosemary cardstock, black cardstock, and white daisy. So I have cut these um, twig wreaths from the Cricut Flower Market collection in uh, espresso and toffee and uh, mocha, and I'll decide which color I want to use um, further down. Okay, so I have loaded a selection of these sprig stamps in my Misty, and this is uh, sort of my inspiration for coloring is the uh, design on this hand cream. So um, I'm kind of going to follow that and uh, for my colors, okay? So I'm going to be using Prismacolor colored pencils and Gamsol. So first I'm going to stamp my Spriggs images in Sage ink on White Daisy cardstock. And I'm just going to stamp a whole bunch of these so I have a lot to choose from. So I'm stamping everything out. And then I'll flip my card around and stamp again. Also in Sage. And then I'll do the same thing with Rosemary. Okay, so I'll get some more white in there, clean up, and then stamp Rosemary. So I'll have a variety of, of images and um, depths of lines around the images, okay? Because the sage is lighter than the rosemary. All right, so coloring. I'm going to start with the sage one. So this is Gamsol, and you just need a teensy tiny bit, and then I have blending stumps of different sizes. And keep a pencil sharpener close by because you want a sharp tip. So I'm just going to start laying down some color, and I'm going with a darker color just so you'll see it on camera. And then later on, uh, the ones that I do later are, are with an even lighter color because I just want a, a real subtle blend. And then I'll go in with a little bit darker color, and then you just dip your blending stump in the Gamsol and let it soak up some Gamsol, and then just blend it on top of your colored pencil and it just smooths everything out and blends everything together. And then make sure you leave some uh, open white spaces so that you can sort of mimic um, how the sun is hitting the leaf. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more and you'll kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. So just laying down color and then I'll go in with a darker Sort of blend it together. And then just keep going. So we'll do one more. And then the rest I'll do off camera. And then I'll cut everything out with the coordinating die cuts. Okay. So I'm going to lay down a color and then go in with a darker one. Sort of at, at the base to do some shading and then use a little Gamsol to blend everything together. Just use a tiny bit of Gamsol so that it doesn't saturate your paper and start to make it pill and um, keep it from soaking through as well. So here's a little close up shot, slowed everything down and kind of see what I did there. Okay, it's very subtle, but really pretty when you get done. Okay, so I've colored everything in and cut everything out with the coordinating die cuts. Some closer looks at some of them. All right, so I have a whole bunch to choose from. And then I'm using the um, scalloped note card, this uh, little scallop shape. So I've die cut that out in white and then I have the coordinating stamp to make an outline. So I'm going to stamp that in rosemary. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And it's from the Sprigs and Sentiments stamp set that says, 
happy hello, and I'm going to stamp that in black. So that's my sen sentiment. Okay, so now we can start building the components to our card front. Okay, so I have an A2 card base, and I'm going to bring in some white daisy, and I'm going to use the light side of sage. So this is going to be my base. So I'm going to cut this at four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm sort of designing as I go. I kind of have an idea in mind. So I'm going to start out cutting the rosemary in a square, but I'm going to cut it down later on. So I'm going to start out four by four. And then I'm going to bring some black in. And I'm going to cut this at four by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to bring some white daisy in. And I'm just going to leave a really thin border of black. So I'm cutting this at three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then I'm going to cut my rosemary down. And I'm going to leave, leave a little bit larger border. And then I'm going to bring white daisy in again. So my white daisy I'm going to cut at three and a quarter square. And that rosemary is three and a half square. Okay, so that's the general idea of my card fronts. Now I'm choosing which color of the wreath that I want, and I chose espresso. And so I'm just going to kind of lay some of these sprigs out to just kind of get a general idea of the design. But then I quickly realized that the only way it's really going to work is if I just start gluing things down. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of lay things around here. And all right, now we're good to go and we'll start building our card. So I'm just going to lay everything down with Tombow Tape Runner. I'm going to be popping the sprigs with foam tape, so I want to keep everything relatively flat as far as my base goes. So I'm just layering everything down. And then we're ready to start building. Okay, so I'm going to take my twig wreath and I'm just going to put a few dots of glue on it to attach it to my card. But I want to be able to slide some of these sprig images underneath it. So I just put a few tiny dots. And then I'm going to start working my wreath here. Okay, so I'm using thin foam tape together with Tombow Tape Runner. So different levels of dimension for these sprigs. So I'm just going to take you through the building of part of it and then I'll skip ahead. But I kind of want to give you an idea of the general way that I, I built the wreath. So I'm just kind of slide things underneath and see how they fit and work them all around. And then again, some, some are popped and some are not. And some I've slid underneath the wreath and some I'm going to layer on top. And don't be afraid to cut your images if they're not going to work. So I'm kind of tacking down my wreath where I like it. And then this is where I've decided to kind of trim my little sprig because it's too big. I want to look, make it look like it's hiding underneath. So I've trimmed it down. I'm just going to add it there. And just keep working everything in. We'll do a couple more and then I'll skip ahead. 
I'm just figuring out where things are going to fit and then sliding them in. Don't want to cover up the whole sprig wreath. And so I'm just working them all around like this. Decided that one wasn't going to work, so I picked a different one. <laughs> so you just keep going and building everything all around. So go ahead and trim this one and slide that one in. And then we'll skip ahead. All right, so now I have my wreath built. I'll give you a little closer look here at it. And then I'm gonna add my sentiment, okay? So I have some gold shimmer trim, and I'm just gonna lay a strip of this down. I'm just trimming it up, making sure my edges are straight, and it's self-adhesive. So I'm going to just lay that down and then I'll add my sentiment. I'm going to pop that with some foam tape as well. Okay, and then for some extra bling, I'm going to add some gold gems. I'm just going to scatter a whole bunch of those around and they're self-adhesive as well. So just kind of picking and choosing. They come in large and small. So I'm just scattering a whole bunch of those around. Thought I was done. Nope, want to add a couple more. <laughs> all right. And there's my finished card. So all of these supplies are currently available in my online store. And the Sprigs and Sentiments will be available beyond the catalog life because it was kind of a late arrival. So don't worry about not being able to get this. I'll make a list with links. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and then you'll be able to find all of my videos. And thanks for watching.